Ghana's COVID-19 case recoveries as of July 28, 2020 stand at 30,621 with 3,617 active cases. 168 deaths have so far been recorded. The Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kumabwaje, attributed the trend to some changes in Ghana's COVID-19 testing protocols. As of 23 hours, um, 26th of uh, July, we had the number of Ghana's active cases to the 3,617 cases. Recoveries out of the total that have been uh, included 30,621, with a cumulative total of 34,406 cases. I just want to just talk about the positivity rate is that it is depends on the the, the, the the testing strategy. We are now moving more to go. We've done a lot of the risk assessment, we've done the sweeping, and so we are doing more targeted testing, which means that people who are possible are showing symptoms and their contacts and high risk groups. Countries that have been hit by the virus have resulted to the use of WHO prescribed treatment. Lately, some physicians have prescribed hydroxychloroquine, zinc and zithromax as medicines for treating coronavirus cases. The Director General of the Ghana Health Service says Ghana has begun using zinc and zithromax but is awaiting approval for the use of hydroxychloroquine. We as a country are giving hydroxychloroquine and we are also monitoring outcomes. Very soon our results will come out and we'll see whether compared to those who are on uh, Zitromax and those who are Zitromax and Zitromizin and those who are on just uh, uh, hydroxychloroquine alone. That is the outcome. I think that will be very, very helpful. What we also know is that Zing helps protect what we call the mucosal lining. And this is where if it is weak, it's easy for a virus to enter. So it has some protection of the linings in the mouth, the nose, etc. That does not allow easy entry of the virus. So that's why we use that and add vitamin C to our treatment. The Zitromax is to also prevent secondary infection because it's antibacteria. So if you have that, you may have some bacterial infection that will worsen your case. And so it also provides some protection. The chief executive officer of the Food and Drugs Authority, Mimi Dakon, who spoke at the press briefing, addressed the approval of rapid diagnostic test kits, RDTs for COVID-19. She noted that all 34 COVID-19 RDTs received by her outfit had not met the standard of the FDA. So, so far, all the 34 kits that have been submitted, not one of them has passed the test. And um, you asked what we have uh, communicated back to um, the people who submitted. So for everybody who submitted uh, a test, like we always do, we have communicated there are two parts of every um, test. There's a sensitivity and there's a specificity. So depending on which part has failed, that you need both parts to uh, to pass before that um, kit has passed. So depending on what it is, we will tell you to improve on that part and the manufacturer understands what to do to improve on the kit and then to resubmit. So that is what we've done to all of them.